Okay, so I wanted to do a video talking to you guys about rounding and just kind of explain what rounding is for those of you who do not work in the medical field or nursing. Um, rounding is basically checking on your patients or your residents. Um, <clears throat> when you round, um, I will say in the nursing home, I round every two hours. In the hospital, we were rounding every hour, but on, like, say, the even hours, the nurses would round. On the odd hours, the CNAs would round. Um, here, the nurses don't really round. They pass out medications, and they do treatments and dressings and all that, but mostly the CNAs are the ones that are doing the rounding at this facility. Um, when you're rounding, you're basically checking to make sure that they're still alive, first of all. Um, you know, if they're awake, I'll ask them if they're in pain. Um, normally, I don't bother them if they're asleep and they're not incontinent. Um, if they are incontinent, then I will have to bother them because I'm going to have to check and make sure that they're not wet. And if they are wet, then I'm going to have to change them, um, which I do feel bad about doing like in the middle of the night, but that's why it's nice that we only need to do it every two hours. So we're not constantly waking people up and, you know, interrupting their sleep. Um, <clears throat> usually if the person is awake when I'm rounding on them, you know, I'll ask them if they're in pain. I'll ask them, do they need anything? Um, and then I'll let them know, you know, that I'm gonna come back and check on them in, you know, a couple hours and usually, you know, they'll only need like pain medicine or they might need an extra blanket or they might need their blanket to be fixed. Um, just a lot of minor stuff. Sometimes they'll ask for like ice water or ice chips. And for the most part, it's just simple little things like that. But sometimes, you know, they need, even though they're not wet, they feel like they are. So then they want you to change them which um, kind of drives me nuts if I'm on like a busy, busy hall or if I'm assigned to like the heavy wetters and they feel like they're wet but they're not and I know that I have to change like all these other heavy wetters. It's a little frustrating sometimes but I just have to deal with it and do what they're asking me to do because otherwise they're gonna keep asking and they're gonna say that you didn't change them. So it's it's best to just go along with whatever they're saying and just do whatever it is that they're asking you to do. Um, usually, if people have Foley's or colostomies, I don't check them every two hours, um, the colostomies anyways, but I will check like the Foley's and make sure that they are um, not leaking that fluid is going into the bag because I have had it before where you know for whatever reason the Foley comes loose or something and it's leaking so they're not like the urine is not going into the Foley bag it's going all over the bed um, if the person has um, a feeding tube I will check that also and make sure that it's closed um, on the trach unit I check to make sure that the trait collar is where it is supposed to be and that, um, you know, <clears throat> everything is how it should be and that they're breathing and they're not, like, visibly having difficulties breathing because that obviously makes a big difference. Um, I also, on rounds, besides just changing people, I will also, um, you know, turn people because especially on the trach unit, you have a lot of people who are totally dependent. They need to be turned every couple hours. So I will go ahead and turn people also. Um, and I just like to go and make sure that everything is good. Everybody's good, everybody's breathing. You know, they don't need anything. And, you know, obviously, like I said, I, I do rounds every two hours but if there's somebody who I know has like dementia or is confused for some reason or maybe is a little bit more needy 
or like hospice patients I will check on them like every hour um, or if they have C. diff or diarrhea things like that I will check on them like every hour just to make sure that they're okay um, as far as um, hospice patients I will a lot of them have family members come in I will go in and make sure you know that the family doesn't need anything um, I'll ask if you know there's anything I can do um, and usually when I leave the room you know regardless of whether it's family member or the resident or patient I will always let them know just let me know if you need anything you know this is exactly how I say it you know if you need anything just let me know and you know a lot of them will say oh well you know I don't want to bother you but I always make sure to tell them you know you're not bothering me you know it's my job to help you and I have absolutely no problem with helping you you're not bothering me at all um, I find that a lot of people think that you're sleeping um, like especially in the nursing home for some reason they think that you're sleeping and that they've woken you up by hitting the call light and I think that's cute when they feel bad about disturbing your sleep um, you know but that's pretty much it I just had somebody ask me you know what is rounding and if I could talk a little bit more about that so I figured why not make a video about it um, because I know everybody who watches my channel is not necessarily somebody who works in the medical field or works as a CNA or in the wonderful world of nursing but um, anyways I hope that answered your question and if there's anything else that you guys have questions about or anything else that I can give you information about be sure to let me know no question is dumb and with that being said that's all I have for this video I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you guys again in a couple of days